Hello, welcome to my channel or maybe welcome to this video if you're already following, following me on YouTube. Um, in this video, I will show some results with my calculator, with my AKC calculator. Now, you can find this calculator and uh, these results, these AKC coordinates on my official, um, on my official site. And uh, eventually, when my partner is deciding to, is going to decide to actually buy the domain, we're going to transfer that site over to that other domain. And you're going to see these coordinates on the other domain. But let's take a look at these coordinates. Like, um, when you're using these coordinates to model yourself, you have to really be careful what you're, what you're um, selecting because some of these aren't so good. But um, let's take a look at all of them. Let's put them here. And wait, no, that's not what I want to do. I don't want to do this. Can't I just can't I just copy them all and what? Man, that's a bummer. Okay. Well I can handle that. Let, let's just um let's just do this for all of them. Yeah, I didn't uh foresee that. <laughs> this little problem. I did not foresee it. Should figure out a way to uh, get rid of this issue. Right. Right. So let's take a look at this calculator results. For example, let's select gorilla. It's a gorilla and let's see what she's going to score closest to. Gorilla is closest to Clint Chimp, followed by Kiki the orangutan, followed by this Neanderthal Lascote from France, followed by Denisova, followed by Hoisan hunter-gatherer, which is an African hunter-gatherer genome, followed, followed by VLH4 native Australian, followed by Satsurblia, followed by Ingrian. I'm not sure about this Ingrian. Something is up with this Ingrian. It's not a very representative uh, file for Ingrian. It's not a very representative result for Ingrian in general. Uh, followed by this Yana Young, followed by Omer, which is my partner, followed by me, and lastly, it is least similar to Neanderthal Vindija. The Vindija Neanderthal is very, it's a very interesting uh, genome. I used to be under the impression that it is most similar to gorillas, but it seems to be uh, actually least similar to gorillas. So look at the difference between Lescotes Neanderthal and Vindija Neanderthal. That's a big difference here. Okay. Now, uh, what about, what about um, Clint the Chimp? What's he going to score? Clint the Chimp is closest to Kiki the Orangutan followed by the Gorilla. You know what's funny? Why he's closer to Kiki the Orangutan than Gorilla? It's, it's There's a very simple explanation. It's because I only, out of the monkeys, out of the non-human references, I only have Gorilla reference. So both Clint the Chimp and Kiki score less than 100% of Gorilla reference. They score around 90 or 92, uh, whereas, whereas the Gorilla scores 100 and that's why they're closer to each other than to Gorilla. It's very interesting stuff here. Um, maybe I, maybe in the future I'll add a reference for chimpanzees and um, orangutans, all that stuff. Maybe. So number the, the closest human group here is Neanderthal Les Cotes once again, uh, Denisova 11, and Hoi-san out of uh, Homo sapien groups. Okay, what about... Um, I don't know, what about me? Who am I closest to? Okay, I am closest to Omer, who is Turkish. Actually, very close. We are um, very similar in terms of our results with my calculator. Kind of interesting that we're so similar. Uh, followed by Yana Young, which is actually like East Asian uh, in terms of autosomal ancestry, followed by CHD. So I'm a little bit closer to this East Asian Yana Young than, than I am to Cocos Hunter Gatherers. Followed by Ingrian, which is maybe not a very typical Ingrian. Followed by VOH4. Followed by... And the last um, last place is Neanderthal Vindija. It's actually less similar to me than even gorillas. It's less similar to me even than the, uh, the gorilla. But you have to keep in mind that this is using genotype. Um, this is using genotype for the comparison gen genotype sim similarity. Now, um, Neanderthals have different genotype from me but they have the same structure of the DNA. So the same variations are located in the same places in my DNA and in Neanderthal DNA. The structure is the same. Um, I could have a kid. If, if somebody 
lived today and they were in a Neanderthal, I could have a kid with them because the structure of the DNA is the same. But with gorilla, the genotype may be more similar than it is with Neanderthal, but I can't have a kid with a gorilla. The structure of the DNA is very different there. So you have to keep this in mind. This is only based on genotype. This calculation is only based on genotype. Um, but um, it's very interesting that I'm closer to gorilla than I am to these Neanderthals from Vindigen Neanderthals. Now, okay, what about, how about we model some of these groups as a mixture of others? For example, let's model these Neanderthals as a mixture of everything else. Okay. Vindija is getting modeled as a mixture of Omer, uh, my partner, plus Gorilla, plus Hoi Sun Hunter Gather. <laughs> Very interesting stuff. <laughs> Omer plus, plus Gorilla, that's crazy. Okay, what about um, Denisova 11? Okay, Denisova 11 is getting modeled as a mixture of Clint Chimpanzee plus uh, VLH4 Australian, Native Australian, uh, plus Hoi Sun Hunter Gatherer from South Africa, plus me, <laughs> 0 0.4% me. That's cool. Okay, what about uh, Les Cotes? Now I'm gonna re re erase that, Les Cotes. 65% um, Kiki the Orangutan, 19% South African Hunter Gatherer, 15% uh, uh, Native Australian. So yeah, you see these gorillas and various Neanderthals, uh, I mean, you see the Neanderthals and Denisovans. The pattern is that they have some, in terms of if you just look at the genotype, some artificial similarity to monkeys, gorillas, apes. And this is something you see in my calculator, but this is something you also will see with a GED match. Let me show you what I'm talking about, actually. Uh, let's go on GED match. Um, MDLP project. K23B, right? Let's see what he's going to score. And you're going to see what I'm talking about. My calculator is actually showing exactly what you see with GED match. Uh, he's scoring 95% archaic human. So let's assume that Kiki the orangutan is this archaic human. So you see 65, 65.4% Kiki the orangutan is the same as 65.4% archaic human. Let's just assume that. And now we're going to we're going to take a look at um, Vindija the Neanderthal, right? What is, what is this Neanderthal scoring? Um, and you're going to see what it's going to score. And you're going to be surprised because, right, let's see. Even though this is less coded, this is technically a different Neanderthal. It's scoring 66.9% archaic human. So it's actually scoring around around two thirds of this uh, component that gorilla, apes, various apes score. So you can actually model Neanderthals as a mixture of roughly two thirds ape plus one third modern human in terms of genotype which is pretty interesting. You would not know this without my calculator. And once again, I'm going to remind you, you can buy these results for $30.